Leo, this is your weekly reading. This is a general reading, so if it resonates for you, I highly recommend you checking out the extended. Also, to the schmuck who made the comment about the toothpaste uh, that I posted like two weeks ago, you can go ahead and watch the Aries reading. I got a nice comment and some information about that for you. Um, hit the subscribe button and you'll get notified of all things Leo. We'll hop right into your tarot reading. It's also free when you hit the subscribe button as well. So pull some oracle cards. We'll hop right into your tarot reading. Rainbow blessings. Blessings are showering your life. Surrendering to the journey. Release control. Ascending the mountain. Keep going forward. Moving on. And what you're not seeing is desert passage. Trust there's a divine plan. Okay. I feel like a situation that you might have really needed happened. And maybe not even just like a situation. It could be money. It could be abundance. There's something that came into your life. And what happened, why this happened was because you no longer had any expectations on the outcome. Your, it was almost like you had to mentally control what was going to happen and how you were going to get this money, how this was going to pan out, how this relationship was going to continue forward, or if it was even going to continue forward. And I feel like when you finally let go and you could see... let go of the outcome then you could see that any potential out or any potential road to the outcome was possible ascending the mountain keep going forward even though things get a little bit tricky i do feel like you're not seeing that currently right now the path to surrendering the journey is a complicated one It's, all, it's very lonely sometimes, and it's about trusting that the outcome that you're expecting is going to happen, but it's just releasing control on the path to the outcome. Emperor. Again, that's about control as well. Chariot. Two major arcana right off the flip. Ten of swords. It's almost like a couple of things that have to end. We'll get more clarification. We'll pull them all out. Three of Cups, Temperance, Ten of Pentacles, and what you're not seeing is the Fool. Okay, so there are four out of the seven major arcana. So I feel like this is about life lesson. This is about learning um, learning the lesson of the situation so that way you don't repeat it. Once you learn the lesson, you get out of that cycle. And I feel like that's what's actually happening. And, you know, again, you know, this ending, this desert passage, it's difficult sometimes to just, you know, release control over a situation. Emperor and Justice. This could be um, this could be a divorce, or this could be a legal situation, or this could. For some of you, I feel like this is a divorce. For some of you, I feel like this is a legal situation, and for some of you, I feel like it's just about balance. Learning how to balance your masculine and your feminine energy about taking action towards something. You know, the feminine energy has things done for her. The masculine energy does them for themselves. And I feel like that's what actually needs to be balanced here because releasing control, in my perception of this, it's, it's not so much... This is about ha having the need to actually do it. It's like you feel that you have to put this block in front of this block in front of this block to be able to get this outcome. And that's what where you need to release the path and let the blocks fall where they're going to fall. 
because it's still going to create a path to the outcome. And you're trying to actually take control and build the path. You're just supposed to surrender and let the, let it happen. And I feel like a lot of it is you don't let your mind rest. Like you're constantly in go, 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 go. You're not, um, you're not celebrating with your friends. You're not going out and doing things that you want to do because you're like, no, no, no. I need this outcome to happen. I need this specific situation to happen. Seven. Oh, I thought there was more than one seven. Chariot. Eight of Wands. And Hierophant. This is about finding somebody who has taken the same path as you. This is about finding somebody who's actually surrendered to the journey and learning how to do it. How did they do it? What did they do? And this is not just an ending. So it's 10 of wands, death, and knight of cups. What it is that you need to do is when an ending happens, have loving compassion for it, even as painful, you know, it's like, yep, this was painful, but I learned X, Y, Z. Yep, this was rough, but I learned X, Y, Z, and I know that I will never do X, Y, Z again type of situation. It's like having loving compassion for yourself in the situations that happened, that ended. Every step forward while ascending this mountain is the death of a previous step. And whether you want to realize it or not, those deaths of those previous steps are painful. That is a transformation. That is a change. And being appreciative of every step you take forward, it doesn't matter if you, you know, step on a rock and you're barefoot and it's painful. It's being appreciative of the fact that you're climbing the mountain. This is something you've never done before. It's almost like this This is taking a leap of faith and it's like, okay, well, you know, I've never done this before. I've, I'm just going to, you know, accept that this is what's going to happen and I'm going to live my life and be happy right here in the moment. And that's exactly what the universe is trying to tell you to do. And that's where you develop the strength. This is your card, Leo. This is your card. Finding the people that... Okay, this makes a lot of sense. I feel like the people that you've been around are not people that were actually happy. I feel like you're in situations where um, it's like misery likes company is what I'm feeling from these. It's like you're around these people and like they sit there and they start bitching about one person and then, you know, the next time they're bitching about the other person. So when that person gets up from the table, goes to the bathroom, you guys start bitching about that person. And then when that person comes back and another person goes to the bathroom, it's like you guys start bitching about that person. It's like as soon as somebody turns around and it's like these relationships aren't actually very good. They're fairly toxic. And so it's like you're realizing this and you're coming into that realization and you're removing yourself from those situations. Temperance. It's, it's finding your calling. It's no longer resisting your emotions. No longer resisting... Oops, and this one wants to come out too. No longer resisting moving forward. You know, like, stop protecting your heart. As much, it's, okay, if you build a wall, you're not protecting your heart. You're preventing anybody from coming in. Now, if you put up like a net, you've protected yourself from flying balls. You're not going to get hurt from that, but you're still able to see through the net and to see what's coming at you. You build a wall and you don't see what's coming at you. You don't even see what's on the other side. It could be something absolutely amazing like that's what needs to happen is like you need to release that wall that you've built to be able to move past this. Your abundance, <clears throat> ten of pentacles. Okay, so the only ten that did not come out is the ten of, oh no, you got all the tens. All of the tens are out. This cycle is like officially coming to a close. You're releasing the burdens, you're finding your happiness, and you're tapping into... 
this grounded financial abundant energy. There's a new beginning here and it's all it all starts when you heal. It all starts when you stop resisting feeling what you're feeling when you're feeling it. Like that's the only way. Like I watched this TikTok the other day and it was so incredibly powerful, but it's like when you get upset or you get angry, the way that you diffuse that feeling or you change that feeling is to actually identify what you're feeling. But if you ignore identifying it, that's when it gets bottled up. But if you sit there and you pay attention to the feeling that you're feeling, and it's like, oh, I'm really hurt because this person did this and it just, you know, it, it broke my heart. It hurt my feelings. I felt insult. Like you're, you're sitting here I trying to identify exactly what it is that you're feeling. And by doing that, you heal. You can heal those situations. There's a new path here, a new beginning for you. Okay, so in the extended, I'm going to go over timeline, advice, blockages, and things you're not seeing. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. It's completely free, and then you get notified all things Leo. And then a couple of videos are going to pop up here. If the title resonates for you, I highly recommend you check them out, and I will see you over there.